Hey, what's up? I'm Marty Foy and this is Zion Eyes, brought to you by Salt Lake City Weekly. On today's episode, honeybees at the Salt Lake City Public Library. I'm gonna get stung, I know it. Oh man, it's trying to get... You got gloves? Can I get some gloves? Okay. Yeah. Ow, f it stung me. Can you get you? Yeah. Damn. All right, well, I'm gonna stand back a little bit and zoom. Yeah. Tell me about uh, the bees on top of the library. Yes, we're trying to promote uh, honeybee health and uh, beekeeping in an urban environment. So we have some bees on the roof of the downtown city library. Well, in these upper boxes, we're going to harvest that honey. And I anticipate we'll get a, at least 100 pounds of honey from this hive alone. Uh, what will you be doing with the honey? We want to make sure that the community benefits from the hives on the library. So I think that the, uh, the library staff will come up with some ideas on how to distribute the honey uh, or to give it away or to promote, to pr promote the city through the use of the honey. And the hives have been thriving up here. The number of bees has multiplied and they've been uh, hoarding honey, which is their natural instinct, and that's honey that we can harvest. Let's see if we see, it'd be nice to see the queen. You can't always count on seeing the queen. Um, I'm looking for evidence of, of egg laying. I don't see any eggs in there right now. I do, see, I do see eggs down in the bottoms of these cells. So she has been, she has crawled across this frame. There she is, right there. So you see, that's the queen. Where? She is right there at the tip of my finger. She has that long, narrow abdomen. And see, she's walking across the frame right there. That's Look, the queen. That's the queen. She's looking for an empty cell in which to deposit an egg. When she Did find, she just do that? She'll find an empty, no, you'll see. She'll find an empty cell and she'll lower her abdomen into the cell and deposit one egg in the bottom of the cell. Well, we are always trying to be supportive of the community's desire to have a great quality of life. City Council decided to look into beekeeping, amateur beekeeping, backyard beekeeping, and uh, change the ordinance to make it possible for people to happily have bees in their backyard. Oh, the community has responded very favorably. Apparently, We have a lot of people who come up to look at the hives, and every time I come over to inspect the hives, I have a great deal of interest, and I, I stop and talk to people about the hives and show them what I can. Uh, through the windows. Uh, the City Council is supportive of uh, beekeeping and instituted a, or implemented a new beekeeping ordinance last year that encourages beekeeping in the city. The bees are located on the fifth floor. They're in an enclosed uh, space that's accessible only by la la uh, excuse me, library staff, but they're easily visible behind a window uh, in the atrium of the fifth floor and uh, the public can view them very up very close and view them very easily from uh, behind uh, safe enclosure. But without getting stung, right? That's right. The risk of being stung is very minimal and uh, in fact if you're inside the building there's there's no chance of being stung. So there's the stinger right there. You can see it quite clearly. There's the pointed part of the barbed end of the stinger and the little venom sac attached. And so the, the, the barbed end was stuck in your finger a second ago. Okay. And if I had squeezed it and pulled it out like that, I would have injected all that extra venom. So I well, minimized, for not doing that. minimized the amount of venom <laughs> that went into your finger. 